Hello students. Welcome to the academic year 2020-21. I hope all are doing well. Today we are going to learn an inspirational poem A Time to Believe by B.J. Morbitzer. It gives a very powerful message that there is nothing impossible in life to achieve. Life is full of wonderful surprises only if we have belief in ourselves. Let us know about the poet. Robert Joe Morbitzer, nicknamed B.J. Morbitzer, is a contemporary poet residing in Grove City, Ohio. He was a former Army Ranger Special Ops in North Carolina. He has written many poems such as You Still Have Hope, Remind Me God, Steadfast Heart, I Am Soldier in the Army of God, Hello God. Students, this poem, A Time to Believe, consists of six stanzas and was written in blank verse. Blank verse is a type of poetry written in a regular meter and have a rhythm. It does not contain any rhyme or particular rhyming scheme. Let us recite the poem now. Students, please open the textbook and take the page number 2 and join with me. To believe is to know that every day is a new beginning, is to trust that miracles happen and dreams really do come true. To believe is to see angels dancing among the clouds, to know the wonder of a stardust sky and the wisdom of the man in the moon. To believe is to know the value of a nurturing heart, the innocence of a child's eyes, and the beauty of an aging hand, for it is through their teachings we learn to love. To believe is to find the strength and courage that lies within us when it is time to pick up the pieces and begin again. To believe is to know we are never alone, that life is a gift and this is our time to cherish it. To believe is to know that wonderful surprises are just waiting to happen and all our hopes and dreams are within reach if only we believe by B.J. Morbitzer. Now we can go through the poem by stanza wise. To believe is to know that every day is a new beginning is to trust that miracles happen and dreams really do come true. In this stanza, the poet tells us that every day is a new beginning, only we believe in it. The poet says that never dwells in the happenings of the previous day. Always stand for every sun rises as life itself is a miracle because tomorrow is a miracle after today's sorrow. No matter how your heart is screaming, keep on believing the dreams you have wished will come true. Let us go to the second stanza. To believe is to see angels dancing among the clouds to know the wonder of a stardust sky and the wisdom of the man in the moon stardust means having a magical quality in the second stanza the poet says that to believe is to see the angels dance amidst the clouds and to know the wonders and magical quality of the sky he also says that to see the wisdom of the man who resides in the moon. Here, angels and man in the moon are two supernatural imageries. With self-belief, one can see silver lining behind clouds. It is through self-belief 
man can see the beauty of the star-studded sky and read the wisdom of the man in the moon. Children, now we can go to third stanza. To believe is to know the value of a nurturing heart, the innocence of a child's eyes, and the beauty of an aging hand. For it is through their teachings we learn to love. Nurturing means providing nourishment, care, and protection. Aging means growing old. In the third stanza, the poet says that to believe is to understand the love of a nurturing heart. It means to understand the nourishment, love, care and protection of our parents. The poet added that children are always innocent. Their innocence reflect in their eyes. The poet advises us that we should also be like children. Again he says, to understand the beauty of the aging hand. Children, aging hands means elderly people. The aging hand has beauty, as these hands have taught us to love through their experienced and caring teachings of life. Next is fourth stanza. To believe is to find the strength and courage that lies within us when it is time to pick up the pieces and begin again. Pick up the pieces means return to normal after a shock or disaster. This stanza gives us the message that it is through self-belief we should find the strength and courage that is always lying dormant in us. With this strength, we can face any failures and disappointments and begin again, building our world of dreams. Next is fifth stanza. To believe is to know we are never alone, that life is a gift and this is our time to cherish it. Cherish means hold something as very dear and of great value. In this stanza, the poet says that to believe is to know that none of us is ever alone. Be brave to stand for what you believe even if you stand alone and always hold something as very dear and of great value in your life because life is an one-time gift and it should be used in the best possible manner. Let us go to the last stanza. To believe is to know that wonderful surprises are just waiting to happen and all our hopes and dreams are within reach if only we believe. In the end, the poet writes that wonderful surprises are just around the corner waiting to happen and our hopes and dreams are only an arm length away. In order to attain them, we must never forget the gift of God to humans, which is nothing more than the ability to believe in good things. There is always should have hope even when you are at the lowest point in your life. All we need is to just keep believing. So children, what do you understand from this poem? Through this poem, the poet B.J. Morbitzer conveyed a beautiful message that every day is a new beginning. With self-belief, one can hope for miracles to happen and make dreams come true. 
with the self belief one can see the silver lining behind the clouds beauty of the sky and wisdom of the man in the moon a man with self belief has a caring heart with which he can see the innocence of children and beauty of the old people from whom we learn the lesson of true love it is through the self belief we find out our strength and courage and assemble the broken pieces analyze the mistakes and make a new start again we are never alone in our struggles we learn that life is a wonderful gift full of pleasant surprises waiting to happen it is through self belief we can reach our dreams and fulfill our hopes let us discuss the figures of speech in the poem alliteration alliteration is used for repeating the same letter or sound first one and dreams really do come true in this line the letter d is repeated twice for better poetic effect second one to know the wonder of a stardust sky in this line the letter s is repeated twice third one and the wisdom of the man in the moon in this line the letter m is repeated twice fourth one when it is time to pick up the pieces and begin again in this line the sound p is repeated twice for better poetic effect the next figure of speech is synecdoche if one part of a body representing the full body or a person the figure of speech is synecdoche the first one to believe is to know the value of a nurturing heart here heart is represents a person the nurturing heart represents the love and affection of the parents and the beauty of an aging hand hand is a part of a body it represent a person the aging hand represents the elderly people for better poetic effect the third one the innocence of a child's eyes the eyes of the child reflects the innocence of his mind the next figure of speech is tautology two or more words in the same line convey the same meaning the figure of speech is called tautology to believe is to find the strength and courage that lies within us the word strength and courage have the same meaning used here for better poetic effect strength and courage different words but have the same meaning the next figure of speech is metaphor it is used for indirect comparison every day is a new beginning the poet indirectly comparing each day to a new beginning that life is a gift the poet is indirectly comparing the life is a gift from god the next figure of speech is epigram when we state a general truth or fact and can be used to these words as sayings or quotes the figure of speech is called epigram here some of the examples of epigram from the poem are given below first one to believe is to know that every day is a new beginning second one to believe is to know we are never alone that life is a gift third one is to trust that miracles happen fourth one to believe is to find the strength and courage that lies within us fifth one and all our hopes and dreams are within reach if only we believe these general statements or facts are used by the poet to give inspiration and motivation to the readers for better poetic effect students this year you have to write a critical appreciation of the poem based upon some points critical appreciation simply means to evaluate and analyze a poem in order to have its better understanding poem appreciation should be written in a paragraph format tabular form is not allowed The first step is to start with the title of the poem along with the poet's name. Next, 
you have to write the main theme or central idea of the poem after that you should include figures of speech rhyming scheme of the poem next if the poem has any special features that also has to be mentioned for example in this poem the figure of speech epigram is used in most of the stanzas for enhancing the beauty of the poem next write your favorite line from the poem lastly why you like or dislike the poem the reason of that also has to be mentioned in the poem appreciation in this poem the title is a time to believe the poet's name is bj morbid sir the central idea of the poem is that the poet requests us to be optimistic and deal with life in a positive way the rhyming scheme of the poem the rhyming scheme of the poem is written in blank verse and there is no specific rhyming scheme the figures of speech used in the poem are alliteration metaphors synecdoche epigram etc and the special feature of this poem is several epigrams dot the poem and enhance the beauty of the poem and my favorite line to believe is to know every day is a new beginning and why i like this poem i like this poem for the motivational and inspirational message it conveys in the next part of the chapter we will discuss the warming up section and question answers and english workshop till then take care children